Um, yeah. Feel free to follow, like me on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media I have. Um, thank you, guys. And here we go. Game is about to start. We have Red spawning as the Red Zerg. Hey, isn't that ironic? Red spawning as a Red Zerg in the bottom left-hand corner. Um, and Grosjean dropping friendly manner saying, please don't pwn too hard. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, Krausgen up in the top left-hand corner, spawning as the Blue Protoss. So Krausgen not knowing where anybody is yet, you know, standard play. Again, we're getting the close by air. This is my last game I played Krausgen and uh, tried to void Ray Rush him, you know. But I saw the stalkers move in, so I pulled my voids. No. Oh, and Red miss. No, no you didn't. No, no you didn't, Red. And, okay, so, uh, it's okay. Red did not miss her nine overlords. She says she does, but uh, I don't believe her. So here we go. Uh, Red's scouting right here. Let's look and see. Is she going to see it? Is she going to see it? Um, and she sees it close by air. Cross Jim, is he going to always see the overlord? Red needs to pull that back, and Crimson doesn't see it. Um, so Cro I don't know if Cross Jim saw that in his view. He goes and scouts the top hand, right? Red also, with that Dark Hunter laying down a heart. I love you, Dark Hunter. So, um, uh, let's... So oh, shit, I already fucked up my wall. And Krasjen oh, F's up his wall. Stinky, stinky. Still haven't, has a scout. Um, there we go. Knows that he's not in the close or the far, so it has to be close by air. Dropping down a gas. Uh, dropping down the gate, standard play, and here comes the red, um, laying down her classic patrol. She better not proxy hatch me. Patrol is her thing to do, so she doesn't even have to look, because she is playing on a trackpad, ladies and gentlemen. And, um, what's up, Frost? Frost is back. Um, thank you guys for checking this out. I got Hellfield, T-Dog, Frost, I'm all back, I'm good, I feel better now. Um, there we go. Krasjian laying down just the, just the little scout and, uh, you know, trying to check out standard 14 hash, 14 pool for red. Going to be able to get speed as soon as the, uh, there we go. Let's see, speed, speed. And a lot of boost is laid down. Here we go. So, queen laid down, metabolic boost. Red is playing super standard, down by one supply, but it's all right. Because Kras is laying down the zealot, which is worth two supply. Uh, everything in red's right now is worth one besides her queen. Um, so, Kraz is up by two workers. Let's see the unit count. Yeah. Oh, wow. Kraz is up by four workers now. Chrono Boosting is out uh, fairly fast. Getting down his uh, his uh, Cybernetics Coil. Let's see. Is he going to go for Gate right away? He does have the money. There we go. Gate and Chrono Boost. Um, Red is still going just for that speedling build right now. Uh, she does have this crazy mass speedling build. There we go. Laying down the natural at about 4.30. Um, so she is going to start being ahead if she just starts to join up. But so far, not joining up. Um, Red's still uh, on that scouting course. Um, so, you know, just, just standard play. The zealot is um, moving away from Red. Um... So, you know, we're moving nice, and there we go, Krasjin, uh trying to taser that hatchery down as much as possible. Uh, speedlings are finished. They are at the gel. Well, they just now finished. Um, they're at the gel Naga Tower watching. And uh, Krasjin, I'm not sure what he's trying to do. I think he's trying to hide his tech as long as possible, but tons of money coming out of that. Um, there we go. One, two gate. He's probably going to go for the normal three gate build. Uh, Sentry out now. And the probe dies. Let's see, is it going to be 4-gate or is it going to be 3-gate Lolo? Uh, the Cybernetics Core is done now. Warp Gate is, should be re researched. Putting it down on the hotkey. And there we go, 3-gate Robo coming out of Kroz. And we still have a normal Speedling uh, Evolution Chamber coming out of uh, Red here. The, pr the drones are about even. Red down by 2, but her natural is finished. So that will give her an extra bit of money. Um, the gates are almost done out of Kroz. There we go, Kroz. He has a ton of money stored up. Almost a thousand in the bank at 640. Uh, there we go. Going to drop down a Nexus. Nexus down at 646. 
and Red is droning up here, getting uh, both her both queens up. The queen, second queen's a little bit late, but hey, it's okay. Watching what she's going to do, just droning up here, pass, surpassing uh, Kroz at 30 to 28. Kroz's uh, uh, robotics bay just finishes, but he is supply blocked. Waiting for that nexus, though. He is shooting... Okay, he was shooting the Zerglings. I was looking and I saw a sentry shooting the uh, the Nexus. Um, and Red laying down a double Evo chamber and a second gas here. Um, from when I played with her, this is pretty standard. She likes to go mass wings. This works. She is a silver, a medium silver player in her 1v1. Uh, she's a silver player in her 2v2 and a platinum player in 3v3 and 4v4. Going mass wing. Um, you guys may think this strategy is crazy, but it dominates. Let me tell you. Dropping down a uh, few more gases at her natural. Um, the, all the gases that are main are taken. Um, Kroz is uh, just getting past the supply block, getting a forge with plus one and dropping down a pylon. Dual pylons. So, I mean, Kroz is about a little bit lower than... Uh, is a little bit lower than uh, Red on supply, but you know, his army value is getting up there. Red still only having three links. Um, so, we'll see. There we go. Red getting a ton of gas right now coming out. So we should start to see a ton of mm, speedlings coming out. A mass speedling build. Tons of speedlings coming out. Of, uh, for red. Double Evo. She needs to get... She does have Lair Tech going... Ooh! Going Lynx to Spire. So she's probably going to go for a, a Ling Muta play here. But Kroz does have the his uh, Observer in the base. Ling's being pulled. Ooh, and Ling's move in. I don't think she wanted that to happen. Going for a surround. Dropping 1-1 one, one Ling to just chew through everything. Ah, just 1-0, Lings, but both stock are surrounded, losing everything, and Lings coming in to reinforce. There we go. Red holds off that first little engagement, and Kroz has to pull back. Doesn't have one plus one finish yet, and has both Red and Kroz have plenty of money to throw down a third, um, third base. So, uh, we'll see. Red does have two drones stuck in her army at the moment, um... Uh, those are just hot keyed in, I want to say, but I, I don't know. Those are just stuck in there. They may be for later hatches, but um, there we go. We got a uh, plus two coming out, plus two melee attacks coming out for red, almost finished, and then uh, plus two ground uh, defense is not being chrono boosted. We have an infestation pit going to lair. Red is going to go for a mass wing. She just got a spire up for the lols, in my opinion. The Massling build is her custom creation. There we go. Getting getting dual. Oh, and there we go. Going for the third. And uh, Krozgen is going for a far third over here. But, you know, Stargazing, how are you doing, uh, Stargazing? I love you for checking out my stream. Thank you. Um, feel free to follow, like me, because I like you. <laughs> well, but uh, Krozgen's still here at... Oh, there we go. Gates being laid down. That's seven, uh, seven gate, seven gate with Blink Stalker. Um, plus, plus one, plus one being finished. A third base, Garzian having 56 jumps to, to Red's 43. But with Red's build, all she all she needs is minerals. Um, so I think she's still good. But is going to be supply blocked here. She needs to get out more. And that's uh, that's definitely a corruptor, not not an overlord. And there we go, two overlords going that way. Let's see if there's any other overlords going over here. Yeah, more overlords. She's gonna go be going mass overlord pretty soon. Krasjen's third base is up and uh, slowly running. The unit protection for Kras is uh, not as great as it could be. It's still good. He's getting uh, plus one armor and blink done. Units are eight, are tw 14 stalkers to red 63 plus plus two plus one. Ling's about to go plus two. Infestation, spire up, and and hive. Hive tech is down with a third base about to happen. Red's taking the gold, about to drop a third. 
her fourth at the goal to take the lead from uh, Grazjin. Grazjin has does not have a rally point at his uh, third base, so those four probes about to be five are just idled out. Um, looking on the field, there is a warp prism out though. I'm looking for that warp prism real fast. Dropping down tons of pylons because he is supply blocked. There's an observer over there. Not so sure. There we go. Drop, gonna drop his fourth behind here. But uh, does not want to take down the rocks for the Zerg to just run in and snipe that. But having these here, he does have t almost 2,000 in minerals. Red not going over 900 lately. Dropping down her third and fourth. Uh, third is just now running. The drone is a lot less than than Krausgen's. And there we go, the observer does take his die. Um, and the overseer, because the overseer was morphed in. 3-3 three, three cracklings. What did I tell you, ladies and gentlemen? 3-3 three, three cracklings with broodlords are coming in now. She's getting corruptors off the hizzle and a bunch of lings. This is a great strategy. Um, just, just, just an awfully great strategy. And wow, Crossgen still has five workers at his, main, at his third base just, just idling. And uh, his fourth base is loading up about a tenth away. Red's fourth base is laid down and good to go. Should be a transfer here soon. Krausgen moving out with a good stalker zealot for us at 1-1. One, one. Um, bunch of lings should be coming out pretty soon. He's moving into her gold base. And here we go. The ling engagement surrounding that four 